Hey, I hope everyone's in a great mood. I am Quadera. I will be presenting and narrating my art project. I chose the beautiful piece you see before you, titled Family Circle, created in 1997 by the amazingly talented John Biggers. Just a side note, the image before you is not one large image. It is two copies of the same image side by side. The divided line is in the middle, directly in the middle. Again, it is not one image, but two copies of one image side by side. Biggers was a part of a family of five. That family included his father, mother, along with the older sister and younger brother. Biggers' big sister died at the age of nine due to diabetes. And unfortunately, five years later, Biggers' father suffered from the same fate. With Biggers' mother left alone to raise two boys on her own, she did her best to provide and she pushed education all the way through their lives because she knew it would be the only way for them to have a better future. In Bigger's early adult years of life, he attended Hampton University where he was influenced by Professor Victor Lounsfield, artist Charles White, and sculptor Elizabeth Catlett. He later on attended Pennsylvania State University, where he earned his bachelor's and master's in art education. The Moral Family Circle is an acrylic painting on a canvas that is 36 inches wide by 60 inches tall and is signed by John Biggers himself. Biggers used multiple elements and forms throughout the painting. For example, the element shapes is constantly used. Biggers uses square tiles to make up the background of the painting. He also uses square tiles to make up headwear for women located on each side of the painting. And those women have necklaces composed of triangles. He also uses squares to create a pattern, and that pattern becomes the hemi for the garments of the women in the painting. The different use of shapes gives the painting variety. Because he used those shapes to form objects, these objects give the painting unity because all these shapes come together to create a bigger picture. Bigger also uses lines to create a sense of direction. For example, he has two smaller ladies painted on the top and bottom center of the painting to help move the eye towards the top of the painting to allow the viewer to see the whole picture. He also uses warm colors on one half and cool colors on the opposite half of the painting to focus your vision.
Shapes, colors, and lines. These are all different tools and styles of art. These are different methods of creating art that John used all the time in all his creations. He knew how to capture someone's eye and keep his attention. He had a way of making you look in one direction or a certain direction without you even noticing. Ladies and gentlemen, John Biggers.